Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am here to show you a fantastic opportunity. Uh, you can find us always at Trans West Truck Trailer RV at TTT RV on our YouTube station or of course five days a week, three times a day we come to you live on Facebook with a video. So let's go ahead and start from our usual spot, the inside out. Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's video is really kind of fun. You know, I do a lot of uh, new RVs, but I thought this is a great opportunity to show you a great value proposition. Uh, today's video is a 2017 Forest River Berkshire S XLT, and this is floor plan 43A. And what's so nice about this RV is there's so many finishes in here and so many features um, for a better price point than you'll find maybe for a Newmar or any of those higher end coaches. But still, this Berkshire offers Forest River a very, very high end experience and maybe a little lower in price point. And with only 37,000 miles on it, this is a great opportunity for you and your family to get out and get camping in really comfortable style. So one of the things I wanted to mention to you first and foremost is our solid wood headboard here with that beautiful tufting that you see along the back. Also, you'll note that we have both windows on both sides with day and night shades. We also have controls up above for your lighting. Uh, these are great light controls because actually you can see which ones are on and off according to which ones are illuminated and they can all be dimmed. You're also going to have really nice reading lights here as well as overhead storage above the headboard. Now please note that these are nice solid wood cherry um, cabinets. Now they're not carpet lined inside so that's something that you'd have to do uh, like you might find on a Ventana or a Dutch Star. But keep in mind at this price point you're getting so many of the same features like all of this great storage. You've got USB ports on each of your nightstands as well as storage here underneath uh, for a um, bottle of water, maybe one of your novels, whatever you might be reading at that point in time. You're also going to have this great separation of the bedroom into the mid bath with this nice solid door. So a lot of great features and then some other things that I found to be really interesting. For instance, you even have in typical fashion of these higher end coaches, a really nice safe LED lighting, a ton of carpeted space here for storing shoes. And this customer um, had, of course, purchased all of the best features. Uh, this has always been pre-wired for a stackable washer and dryer, but you do have a really nice Whirlpool washer and dryer here, and it's not that all-in-one. Another great feature that you don't see on a lot of our higher-end or mid-level motor coaches is a ceiling fan. So it's so nice to have a ceiling fan in here. And then take a look at this dresser. So much nice storage space. So once again, you know, for different people, when you're looking at things like a Ventana or a Dutch Star, and you're going, oh my gosh, for us, we're trying to get out and get camping and we want to have something nice, but we don't want to spend all the money. We want to have some left over. This is a fantastic way to look. Um, this is stock number 5U220047 for the record. And this is again a 2017 model with only 37,000 miles on it. And you'll notice that they have another, a lot of these really nice full extension drawers, just like you'll find on those higher end coaches, um, all with lots of separation here, tons of storage. And one of the things I really like about this Berkshire is not only do you have a lot of drawers, but you've got smaller drawers and then larger, more deep pocketed drawers. So instead of having, you know, six drawers, this comes with eight full drawers giving you a little more separation if you have things like bathing suits or socks, maybe shorts, things you don't have as much of. And again, really, really nice storage here. And you'll note that throughout the coach, I've got two 110 outlets here, two 110 outlets here, really nice overhead lighting throughout. So again, just a really, really great value proposition. And we even have storage here under the bed. So lift this up for Jody. And I know I spend a lot of time opening cabinets and shutting and closing drawers, but the reason that is, is hopefully that'll give you an opportunity to see some of the reasons that you may want to consider this coach. So for instance, take a look at how deep this vanity is. So much room on this dual basin vanity. 
I love, uh, in Numar, we do a lot of these little tucked away, you know, toothbrush holders or scrubby holders in the kitchen. But what a great idea to put them here in the bathroom. And then again, all of these full extension, soft closed drawers, four drawers, a ton of cabinet space just a ton. Now, of course, the Berkshire, a lot of people say, oh gosh, that name sounds familiar. This is a Warren Buffett company. Um, I'm sure that he's taken one or two trips out in something this fantastic with his family. And if it's something that you might want to consider for yours, please note that here at Frederick, Colorado, we have a fantastic place to come, not only to you know, shop for an RV or have it serviced, but also that we have a full-fledged campsite. So after you take delivery of your coach, we're able to actually allow you to come in, get transferred over if you're moving from one RV to another, and then also allow you to camp on site so that you can get your sea legs on, get everything kind of locked and loaded and ready to go before you depart on your camping trips. So just a really nice feature of taking delivery uh, from this dealership. Now, as you can see, there's a really beautiful skylight up above. I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, this unit has three air conditioners. Um, the two, one in the front and the one in the back are 15,000 BTUs. And then there's a central AC that's 13,500. So I thought that was kind of interesting that they found that it needed to differentiate. But they did. And I mean, that's really nice to have three ACs in your, in your unit. And again, take a look at all of this cabinet space. And these cherry cabinets are high gloss. They're really beautiful. And uh, for 2017, you can tell whoever owned this coach took really great care of it. Also nice porcelain potty. I like that a lot. And you'll also see that we have all of these uh, Max Air Excel fans throughout have remotes, which is super nice. And they're also wall mounted uh, buttons as well. And then here in the center, I love the way they've taken uh, this extra space because you've got the control panel here. But look at all of this room for towels and linens. I mean, what a great amount of storage throughout this coach. Really just a nice execution um, on the part of Berkshire. Now, here is our central command center. Um, one of the things I really liked about this actually is this control panel is super simple. As you can see, I can take all four of my slides in and out with a touch of a button here. We are gonna bring these in today because they do really have great adjustment. But as you can see, these light controls are things that we're actually moving to in Numar. So it's so nice to see that these center control uh, displays um, already integrated into this coach so far ahead of its time. Um, because in our current Dutch Star and Ventana this year, we're actually launching um, these center controls where you'll have all of your lights at a touchpad. And this is a 2017. Um, now, I also love the fact that you've got a Wi-Fi soundbar here. Beautiful Samsung TV. Look at the size on this thing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, you can pull this out and then you can actually adjust the television so it could tilt more. But I don't think that you need to because take a look at these fantastic recliners. So much room here. I actually I had one of them out earlier because I wanted to be able to show. Let's see, do I have the right buttons? I'm not good at the buttons yet. Don't have them memorized. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> is this insane? I mean, oh my gosh. Talk about like living in the lap of luxury. Now, a lot of people say, could you sleep on that couch? And in most of the recliners, I'll typically say, no, you couldn't. But in this one, I think you absolutely could. So here we go. I can bring up the back. So I was kind of playing around with these earlier today. There's a lot of adjustments that you can do to make these more comfortable. Um, but yeah, just a great, great setup. And then take a look at this. There's my Greystone fireplace. I love an electric fireplace. So nice to be able to heat your coach without having to have your, uh, without having to have your 50,000 BTU furnace on. And then just to the left of the fireplace, you'll notice that we also have our dirt drevel central vac. So really nice to have central vac. Uh, this coach is also outfitted for the traveler system. So if you'd like to put a satellite up there or a receiver in, you're more than welcome to. Um, of course, you'd have to provide that, but look at all of this kitchen space. So while you're getting ready to watch the game, you know, make some guacamole, chips, you've got so much counter space here, so much room to cook, and they've got this fantastic stainless steel 
uh, dual basin undermount sink. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it is so incredible. And of course, once again, you have your residential faucet with spray and pour. Nice little place here to, to store your to store your uh, your covers as well. And then, as you can see, once again, one of my favorite things is a place to hold your scrubbies. And then a lot of really nice uh, drawer space here. Again, all full extension, soft clothes, and then your true induction cooktop, uh, which of course we love because as we know, you know, this is a great uh, way to have um, kind of a fire safety, if you will. You could actually boil water with a paper towel under your pot because it's not a coil system like you'd find in a ceramic stove. It's actually magnetic. And what's so cool about it is when you remove that pot, the stove turns off, but it also never gets super hot. So great for those of you that might have the grandchildren along, uh, have them help you make breakfast in the morning and have to worry about them burning the RV down. Uh, so again, great convection and microwave oven. Love the fact that, uh, you know, uh, one of those nice high-end features is to have a dishwasher here in the galley, not just to do dishes, but also to stow your um, your pots and pans or to just dry your dishes while you're out camping and then take a look at this this is kind of interesting so everyone's got a different way to close the refrigerator but as you can see here you just twist this into place and then when you get to wherever you're going you remove it and look at the size of this refrigerator so of course this also has a ice and water dispenser in the door which is a total luxury uh, there is a filter for the water this coach also does have a full whole house water filter on top of it. So you've got water cube and crush. That's something that we don't have in our Numar line that I think is fantastic. A ton of storage down here. And then a really nice tray. So you've got a place to maybe keep your popsicles and things like that. I love this little feature here to keep these locked. You just have a little release so that they'll stay in. But look at all of this pantry space so much room in top and bottom just think that's fantastic and then uh, this model does come with a uh, full or with four folding or four chairs uh, there are little latches as you can see down below to keep them in place but the way that they're weighted they really aren't going to tip over and then look at all of the storage space you have behind these chairs so nice so much room now I do have all three of these windows with different shades deployed. So this one is without any shade at all. So I wanted to show you how the windows open and close. It's really simple. It's just a nice twist. Um, they're nice because they're uh, tilted out, which means if it's raining, you could still have fresh air coming in. And then on the left here, I have your, uh, your full uh, lockout shade. So if you wanted to have someone spending the night, you'd have uh, plenty of uh, ability to darken the cab. And then on the left side here, I've got the day shade. So these are all manual. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Plenty of spring left in that one, huh? All right. So again, look at all of this storage. Now, like I said, you know, so there are differentiations in different levels of coaches. But one of the things I'm really impressed with with this Berkshire is there's so many similarities to our really expensive Highline uh, Class A RVs. And this is so well executed at a lower price point. So for those of you that are looking, you know, for 450 horsepower, uh, that Cummins L9 engine, 1,250 foot pounds of torque, a 150 gallon gas tank, um, you know, a 15,000 pound towing capacity, all of those things are here in this Berkshire at a much lesser price point. So, you know, there's always a magic number that we hear when we have customers that are out shopping for, uh, for an RV, and this coach fits that bill. Um, so if you're in the market to get out and camping in a really nice RV, give us a call. Um, I also wanted to show you, I mean, the push button USB ports, how ahead of their time are they here? And I love all of these different individualized lights. So for instance, I have both an overhead light here, so I could turn this off and just have a really nice glow, or I could turn on my LED lights and have more bright lighting for my dinner. So it's just one of the things I talk about a lot in my videos is how important it is to have different uh, levels of lighting available. 
uh, throughout your coach. Jody, did I show that cabinet? Because that is a great place for those of you who want to bring a coffee maker. Um, that's one thing that we really don't have enough space for in a lot of our RVs. So much deep space here. You might even be able to get a rice cooker in there or an air, air fryer, which is a big popular thing these days. Now here in the front, um, a few different features to talk about. One of them that I think is really nice is I love the dials that are set up here. So really, really driver centrific cockpit. So as you can see, if I'm sitting here, I've got my nice digital display showing me that I've got my generator with 227 hours on it, eight kilowatt, plenty of power, um, really nice dark dash, really beautiful um, uh, Freightliner custom chassis gauges here in the front. All of my, um, you know, whether it be oil temperature or my air, everything is displayed, uh, battery level, fuel, right here, very easy to see. And then on top of it, I have um, my, uh, pedals are adjustable. I've got power heated exterior mirrors. I have all of my light controls, my parking controls, my mirror controls, my six speed Allison transmission, my equalizers leveling system, everything right here as you would expect in this cockpit, but it's all uh, driver centric and well ahead of their time. They've got a 10 inch um, camera here. So great way to watch while I'm going down the road. You can see Jody's taking a picture of that I might as well turn her on. Maybe I'll turn off my generator. Um, as you note that you can hear it's much quieter now. That's of course because I have my, um, oh stop, I'll retract, there we go. Um, that's because I have my generator off and now I've got my engine on. And of course, one of the benefits of having a, uh, a rear engine is that I've got quiet while driving down the road. And then I have my dash here in the front. So while I'm sleeping, if I'm running my AC, it's quiet in the bedroom. But look at this great dash place um, or dash display. So, so handy, so big, so easy to read. And this is a 2017. So I really feel like it's so ahead of its time. And then I did put it in some of these shades earlier today just because it was a little bit warmer, but really nice power shades up and down. Again, you've got your overhead fans. I love that. You've got your Samsung here in the front. And then as we keep talking about so much storage throughout this coach, I actually was looking for our slide controls here initially. And of course they're in the center of the coach. And again, if I didn't say it already, it is a quad slide and I am gonna bring those slides in right now, just so you can see how much walking space you have. But this is just such a great, great RV in terms of overall storage. And then one of the things I think a lot of people are looking for, now I did leave, these are uh, just protectors for the floor for the slides. I left these in place, not because it needed to be in place, but because I wanted to show what type of care had been given to this vehicle because this coach has been very well taken care of, which I think is fantastic, um, down to the slide covers. So let's take a look, touch to unlock. And then here goes slide in. Look at how quick this thing is. I mean, it is just a zippy little slide. But I'm so excited to show you how much room you have because it's really fantastic. And this is the easiest uh, controller. I know that Jody can't see it. Don't worry, Jody, it's all right. Um, it's really nice because there's just four little zones. You push each button, hold it down, and all of your slides start to come in. So as you can see, here's what they call is the wardrobe slide, which has both the uh, the dual uh, dual sinks as well as the wardrobe on it. I'm bringing in the bedroom slide right now. And then for our grand finale, I'm gonna bring in this kitchen slide. And while I do that, Jody, if you wouldn't mind, um, oops, that's, there we go, in. Uh, take a look at this uh, really cool LED lighting around the base of the kitchen. I think that that's so neat. Okay, so, check that out this is all the way in how much room do you have in this coach for walking so for those of you that have you know maybe a, a knee injury or just a really big dog this is a lot of space in a class a for walking you have complete uh dexterity all the way to the back and jody if you don't mind coming uh back i can show you you can actually open this door you could sit here with your fireplace on. You could watch TV 
all of these things with your slides all the way in. I mean, this is so much room. I mean, heck, you could take a shower. <laughs> so for those of you that are looking for a class A, uh, especially to go down the road with, like I said, a big furry friend or maybe more than one, this would be a great coach. I can just see a pooch wanting to sit here by the fireplace while you roll down the road on your way to your next destination. So plenty of room in this RV, even with the slides closed. It's such a um, such an amazing amount of space for those of us that come from, you know, the Tiffin or the the Newmar lines, where when you put the slides in, everything is so tight. This is really the Renegade uh, Super C has a lot of space like this, and it's one of the few. So love that now there is a step cover here so let me see if i can figure this one out that's the cargo light on off that's the light oh shoot i don't remember how to do it but there's a step cover right here which is also nice for those of us with fine furry friends and then you have all of your uh, master lights all in one spot so you can literally push this i've just turned off all the lights in the entire rv which i think is fantastic once again the all lights off feature is something that in uh, Newmar we came up with in 2022. So here's that Berkshire way ahead of its time. Um, so again, as I mentioned, this is a dual fill 150 gallon fuel tank. Uh, the length of this coach is 42 feet, 10 inches long. I am gonna turn off this engine real quick. Um, six speed Allison transmission, 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot pounds of torque. 15,000 uh, 15, pound towing capacity. Really, really nice uh, screen door. Uh, so for those of you that are maybe out, you know, grocery shopping or whatever, you just wanna hand things in because maybe there's a kitty cat inside or something, you can pass through there. And then I have, this is an 11 foot awning if you're curious about the size. Uh oh, I don't have the key. Uh, you have your outdoor TV here. And then take a look at how they've done this base storage. I think this is so clever to actually have shelves in it. And then you have this dual opening door, which is so nice because it gives you this ability to have a uh, slide that comes out um, the full width of this interior. So there's this second two chairs. Again, there are four chairs. And then there's your table extension. And this is a really nice, it's about 55% of the slide comes all the way out. So even if you had your slide out, you'd still have full access. Now, I don't think I mentioned that the sofa or the bed inside was a 72 by 80 king. Uh, but, oh, uh oh, hold on. Got to get them in the right order. Uh, but that is, the, that is the case. And then we have the Truma Continuous Hot Water. Uh, in terms of your uh, tank capacity, pretty impressive. Uh, you have, oh, that's all the, let's, let's see. <laughs> okay, so just so you guys know, I have four pages of notes on this. 150 gallon fuel tank, 13 gallon def tank. Well, what the heck? Oh, there it is right at the front. 103 gallons of fresh water, 66 gallon gray water tank, 42 gallon black water tank, and a 24.5 gallon propane tank. So, wow, pretty impressive stats there. And look at all of this storage. I think that this is really awesome. So I had to take a look at what was um, underneath this coach for us because I'm not as familiar with the Berkshire line, um, but I'm really familiar with the Freightliner line. And one of the things I thought was really impressive is that this also has V-Ride. And then what they have is an XCR raised chassis rail. So they have a very similar structure underneath where they're actually raising this coach up off of the chassis rail, giving you a quieter ride going down the road, maybe a little more steady feeling. Um, another thing I thought that was nice, it's got a 2000 watt uh, pure side inverter. So that's great. Uh, six um, six uh, main house batteries, two chassis batteries, um, but just like a lot of really cool features on this coach. Um, this is a really nice execution. Here's your access to your dirt double outside. And then as you can see, these water tanks are heated. That's really nice. And then of course you've got your tag axles, big 22 and a half. Look at these good years. These are just beautiful tires here. Um, now, these have 0421, oh sorry, 4421 date codes. Please note that if you purchase 
a coach from us, whether it be uh, used that's 10 years old or used that's five years old or two years old, you'll never buy an RV from TransWest uh, that has uh, tires that are more than five years old. So we'll always make sure that there's got some nice fresh uh, rubber underneath your feet. Again, a 13 gallon DEF tank. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there's our two chassis batteries and your Truma system. Now, one of the things I think is really nice about this, of course, you've got your seven pin connector, you've got your big old um, tow bar back here. Uh, you, you can also see, though, that we have our radiator side mounted. So you've got access to this Cummins L9 right here from the back. So we always talk about the marriage of the Cummins uh, to the Freightliner chassis. And you can see it right here from the back, which is so nice. And then, of course, we've got these big, dramatic taillights. And I love this XLT paint job. This is, of course, the top of the line in this, uh, in this segment. Side radiator, once again. Tag axle. I mean, everything that you could really ever ask for. Oh, <laughs> that was a doozy. Uh, and then once again, so in our uh, Essex line, our King Airs, we have this mana block system where you've got zone control for your hot and cold water. It's a standard feature here in this XL. This is just a really, really nice water bay. Uh, whole house water filter as well. Here's your six, four. I swear I read six. Maybe it's total six. <laughs> Who knows? And then this is an optional uh, power cord reel for your 50 amp. And this is going to be a fiberglass roof. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong door first, Katie. Can't do that. And front and rear end cap. And then some of those things that we talk about that you find on these high end class A's you know, that cost twice as much you know, like the diamond shield, front end caps, and all of your, um, nice integrated camera system so that when you turn your hose, or turn your hose on, turn your, uh, your blinkers on. I love the way that they're integrated here into the mirror. You can see that camera right up here as well. And then here's your other fueling center. So dual fill once again. And then here in the front is where we'll have our radiator. And then of course a full windshield. And of course this is all a uh, full body paint. So I think for those of you that are in the market uh, to have a really nice RV, maybe you're not living it full time, but you wanna be able to go out for you know 30 days, three weeks and be really comfortable. Uh, this is a fantastic way to spend a little less and get a whole lot of RV. Again, this is stock number 5U. 220047. Also, there's a lot of notes. There's a full uh, gallery of this down below. If you just want to click the link, you can also link through to the rest of our inventory. Uh, the price is there as well. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Please let us know how we can get you on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in.